Welcome student. Today we are going to study linear equations. Let us define linear equations. A linear equation is an equation in which the highest degree of the variables is 1. In other words, such equation have plain variable or variables like x or y. Examples of linear equations can be x plus 6 equal to negative 3, x minus 3 equal to negative 5, 2y equal to 5, y divided by 5 equal to negative 6. Please note that in all these equations the variables with degree 1 are used. There are certain very important rules which are used in regard to variables in linear equations. Number 1. The variables cannot have any exponent except 1. That is, x square or y cube are not permitted. The variables must not be multiplied to or divided by each other, which means x times y or x divided by y is not allowed. Number 3. The variables cannot have a square root sign. Based upon the definition and rules we have just studied, we can easily identify that x plus 2 equal to 0, 2x plus 5 equal to 6, and 4x equal to 10 are linear equations and x square plus 2 equal to 9, 2xy plus 5 equal to 6 and 4x cube equal to 12 are non-linear equations. Let us now understand that what do we mean by solution of linear equation. We intend to find out the value of variable by undoing all the operations done on it and making it alone. This is called to find the solution of linear equation. For example, we need to find out the value of x in the equation 3x minus 4 equal to negative 10 we would isolate the term with x on one side of the equation by adding 4 to both the sides. This results in 3x equal to negative 6. Now, we will divide both sides by 3 which would give the value of x equal to negative 2. We can also check our answer by plugging in the values of x into the equation as shown. Similarly, to solve for x in the equation 5x minus 2 equal to 13, we will undo all the operations on it. To undo subtraction, we will add 2 to both the sides. And then, to undo multiplication by 5, we will divide both the sides by 5. So we find out that the value of x comes out to be 3. Let's also have a glance on translating words into algebraic expressions. Let's begin with addition. Verbal phrases like sum of a number and 8, 5 is added to a number, 2 more than a number, a number is increased by 3, they all result in addition of numbers as shown. Similarly, for subtraction, phrases like 4 is subtracted from a number, 3 is less than a number, a number decreased by 2, etc. are used. Phrases like product of 5 and a number, twice a number, one half of a number indicates multiplication. Let's analyze two more verbal phrases indicating 
pairs of numbers. One number is 10 more than another. This implies if one number is x, then other number could be x plus 10. Also, if the verbal phrase says two numbers total 18, then one number could be supposed to be equal to y and other number would be equal to 18 minus y. This brings us to the end of today's class. Thank you so much. Take care. Goodbye.